What's up everyone, Bitcoin breaks through $8,000 right now around $8,400 on its way to its next target around $9,800. Two things are standing in the way. What's up everyone? I have an hourly chart on the screen just to give you a glimpse of what it looks like. If you've been watching the charts, you already know, but look at that beauty. Bitcoin breaking out of this ascending triangle. To start this video for context, I wanna check a clip that I did a couple days ago. Three things, everybody. Number one, an ascending triangle breakout. The ascending triangle breakout will lead us to number two, an ascending channel breakout. And number three, a long-term higher high. Let's see what this looks like. Let's zoom in on the charts. The first, the very first thing Bitcoin needs to do in order to see the upper momentum into the bull market, it's clear, it's obvious. It is a break through the upper trend line to a target of right around 8,200 or 8,250. And there it is everybody, the breakout of the ascending triangle and not only did we break out perfectly to the target of this triangle, the height of the beginning of that triangle, right now we're perfectly testing resistance at this upper trend line that extends back to March in this ascending channel. This was step two of what Bitcoin needs to break out of for it to enter into that bull market. Now, we know there was huge resistance going back to this first swing high right around March 19th. It's just been a series of swing highs with resistance, and it tells the story of swing highs leading to new higher lows, right? So are we gonna get a case where we get another swing high here at this upper trend line and then come back down for a new swing low currently in the low 7,000s? It's something to anticipate. However, the first thing you'd wanna look for in a pullback for Bitcoin would be the breakout area that we just had right around $7,800, this upper trend line here. There's huge potential that Bitcoin comes back down and then sees continuation for a breakout through. These breakouts that we're looking for, especially in these midterm channels, these midterm, midterm patterns, sometimes require some patience. So we have some patience. Now, what I wanna also look at is, and this is something to keep an eye on in terms of indicators, if we get rid of some of these lines here, the other day I talked about the stop and reversal pattern or stop and reversal indicator that we have on the screen. And you can see Bitcoin right around April 26th, this indicator crossed Bitcoin price from up here above the price, which is bearish, to down here below the price, which, which is bullish. And this is on the four hour chart. So we talked about this the other day as Bitcoin was approaching the 75% to the apex of this triangle, and it really played out really well. So we have all these indicators coming together that really indicated Bitcoin was getting ready for a bullish move. Now, if we go to the one hour chart, this gives you a very clear idea on the short term of what to anticipate. Uh, I know this is kind of a curved trend line. This is part of the ascending triangle on the one hour, just does a really good job of illustrating the the pullback potential for Bitcoin if Bitcoin does pull back, right? It's that $7,800 area. And then going to the daily chart, this is really where my eyes are because Bitcoin did something extremely crucial today. Bitcoin broke the 200 moving average right here on the daily chart. So what I'm really looking for, can Bitcoin stay above that moving average around $7,900 to $8,000 right here? And more importantly, if we zoom out a little bit, can Bitcoin stay above it? Can we get a daily close above it? And then can Bitcoin see support, even if it's trading sideways above it, for continuation to the upside? We know that continuation to the upside is what Bitcoin needs to break that second key resistance area that we talked about the other day, which is the breakout target to $9,800. And yes, really the first step is support above this 200 moving average on the daily chart. Now, in a continuation of lower highs in a very long-term downtrend, right? We know resistance and failure to stay above this 200 moving average is basically the biggest problem, right? We, we broke Bitcoin's 200 moving average in January, we got above it a little bit, 
probably for a couple weeks, and then we fell back below with no support in March. We do not want that to happen again. So this is probably one of the biggest confluent resistance support areas on Bitcoin charts. As of today, Bitcoin has broken that resistance, which is a huge sign for the bulls. Currently, next, next point of resistance, this upper trend line here. And then if we go to the weekly chart, we've talked about this on the other, on the other video. This is that other resistance area, the 50 week moving average, $8,700 the 50 week moving average, even more bullish than that 200 moving average on the daily. If we go back to the four hour, you can get a sense of where that $8,700 50 week moving average is. It is along the path of Bitcoin breaking to its targets of $9,800. I don't think I have to put it any other way than to say Bitcoin has a ton of resistance ahead. Nice to see Bitcoin broke out of a short term ascending triangle, but now we're entering those longer term, stronger resistance areas. The question is, is Bitcoin gonna break those areas? We have them very clear on the screen, everybody. If you look at this four hour charts, resistance area 8,400, 50 week moving average 8,700, the breakout target 9,800. That is a lot of resistance, but that is also what we can keep our eyes on. I hope you're enjoying the short term run that bitcoin is on right now let's hope it continues time will tell if you're here and not a subscriber hit the subscribe button i appreciate you coming by hit the like button on the way out and i'll see you in the next video and god bless